Hi guys, this is Chelsea Potter, uh, formerly Chelsea Russell, coming to you from Buffalo, New York. I'm wearing a hat because it's cold in my house. And I just want to teach you a little um, flat uh, horizontal contact section because that's my favorite thing in the world. Yay! So first I'm going to show you what the entire section looks like all together. I'm not going to go super fast just because my cats are like swarming around and I do have like some drinking glasses over there. So here's the whole section. No! Now I'm going to break down the section for you in slow motion, explaining what each movement is. So you're gonna start with a horizontal under loop in your right hand, and you're going to do a horizontal thumb toss up above your head. When you're doing a horizontal thumb toss up, um, you wanna make sure that it is all the way above your head. You kinda of wanna think like you're fist pumping at a party because everybody does that, obviously. So you're gonna do under loop, fist pump up to the sky. I like to put my hand on my hip and I like to do a little step to touch with it just because footwork is important, is as important as the twirling part is. So I have under loop, horizontal thumb toss. From here, I'm going to do a little drop down flip and I'm going to do a passe and a releve into a lunge. So I'm kind of twisting so that my fingertips are pointing downwards like this. And I'm going to swoop my left hand up above my head to catch on top. So I have under loop, thumb toss, swoop. From here, I'm going to do the over part of an over under if you're from the south. I think you call it a box perhaps, or maybe that's the Midwest, I can't remember, but we call it an over under in New York. So you're going to do the over part, and then I'm going to do something a little bit funky. I'm gonna take my left leg, and I'm going to do a very, very, very small fan kick, making sure that my butt is tucked under and I'm nice and turned out. So I have the over part here. I start to tuck it underneath, except I'm going to take this end, the one that's out here, and I'm going to tuck that under my leg to the point where I'm literally touching with the palm of my hand, the outside of my leg, right? So I come here and it's coming around my leg there. I go over, under, make sure I tuck right here. Boom, that's kind of the easier version. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, you're gonna take your right hand and scoop underneath your right leg. So I'm going over, under, tuck it, boom, catching it underneath my leg. Except that time I didn't catch it because I'm lame. So I go over, under, underneath, boom. If you want to get really fancy with it, you can actually go into a split from that. Um, I think I might be too old to do that at that point, but from here, oh, oh there we go. Because <laughs> I break everything in my house, but that's the first part in slow motion. I'm going to do another video to do the next part. Okay. You've just caught your fancy leg catch in your right hand underneath your leg here. From here, I'm going to pull up. Um, I think in the video, the first video, I did an under loop. You can add that there if you need it. Otherwise, you can just come out from under your leg and go directly above your head. We're actually going into another right hand horizontal thumb flip. So if you're not ready to do this next part, you can actually just do another thumb flip there. But this one is a little bit different in technique in that you really want the release to happen directly above your head. If it's out here, your baton has a super far distance to travel behind your back and you are pretty likely to actually conk yourself in the head. So instead, you wanna start the release above your head so that way it only has one revolution distance to come behind your back and you're gonna catch it in your left hand. Um, you could do this on your knee, you can do this in a lunge, you could do it in a deep lunge, you can really get funky with it. So after I've caught underneath my leg, I'm swooping up and I'm going right to left thumb flip behind the back. From here, I actually recommend turning all the way around out of this. I didn't do this in the video, you can just come from here and come up, but I think it'll make it a little bit smoother if I'm coming from here, turning out of it with yet another over loop, except instead of going directly into an under loop, I'm gonna take that under loop and tuck it all the way behind my back. Now this gets into a pretty uncomfortable position with your back. You are actually kind of facing the side with your body and tilting over. It's not a back bend, it's not a lean forward, it's this kind of awkward diagonal position, so that way you can get your arm out as far as you can and make your hand super, super flat. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna pop it straight up, you're gonna continue turning, and then you're gonna catch it left blind behind your head. You can, of course, just catch that plane left if you want. You could also probably catch it right, although I think that would be a little bit awkward. Um, so what's happening is from underneath your leg, 
You're coming here, doing your thumb flip, doing your over, tucking it behind your back, pushing it up, and catching left blind to the back. From here, you continue that under loop. You are going to slide all the way to the end of the baton, loop above your head, and then you do this like really funky thing with your hand. I've said funky a lot in this video. Apparently this is like the funky routine. But from here, you're gonna swing above your head and then actually alter the way you're holding the baton so that way the palm of your hand is still facing directly to the front. So I'm going loop, I'm twisting my baton so it's facing directly to the front and I'm actually going to let go and let gravity do its job to drop my baton down to my right hand so that way I can catch it back in. I can't catch that shirt today. So I'm going to swing, switch it, boom there and that's the end of your section huh. finally I'm going to face the back and do the entire section so it's a little bit easier for you to see what I'm doing